a beginner's handstand follow along workout. And we're not gonna be using any equipment at all today so you can do this one at home. Just so you know, it's gonna be into two parts. We've got the movement patterning part, which we're gonna do first, and then we're gonna have the capacity strength part. We'll do the movement patterning part first because that's the bit where you're trying to balance. That's the bit that's a bit sort of um, cognitively demanding in terms of the brain having to think and having to work quite hard. So we wanna do it when we're fresh. So we're starting first with the frog stand, then we're gonna go through each exercise in a little mini circuit together. So key thing on this frog stand, where Tim is gonna try and hold it for 10 seconds. He's gonna be pushing down hard into the floor the whole time, so 10, nine, eight, seven, he's not resting, six, five, he's pushing down hard, four, three, you can see him working, two, one. That's a great 10 second hold. So from there, we then go over to the wall and we're looking at this kick up and working our alignment. So into the kick up where we're gonna be pausing at the top, we're gonna to do a five second pause and we're doing three times. So tummy tight, bum tight, reaching up, and so five, four, three, two, one, and then he's going to come back down. We're going to do that three times. We're going to do three reps of those. So about time under tension there. Tummy tap, pull up, up, five, four, pushing feet high, three, two, one. Good. That long and strong last rep. Kick to the wall. Feet as high, always pushing to the sky. Four, three, two, one. Down we come. And then the third exercise is then actually working on the balance. So you're going to take that nice alignment that you've created and we're going to take one leg off the wall and we're going to look to hold for maybe like five to 15 seconds of actual balance work. So he's got that one leg off and he tries to just tap the other leg and then at some point he's going to find that balance point, hopefully, depending on how much experience we've got, we can hold for five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, there we go. So that is one round of our movement patterning exercises you're going to have 60 seconds rest now or about a minute um, and then it's going to be my turn so 60 seconds rest in the bank time to check out jacko's technique and go through set number two frog stand please mr jackson <laughs> so he sets himself up hips nice and high pushing down remember the key thing for this is trying to get yourself as high as possible so i'm going to give him Did 10 seconds to 10 yet? nine <laughs> eight seven six five four keep pushing dave three two <laughs> and one hey. good end of the frog stand so the key point there is keep pushing down all the time which you should really feel like you're trying to lift your hands or you saw your knees off your elbows right kick up with a shrug so hands go on the floor we're going to drive that foot up into the wall locks down that midsection pushes himself up nice and tall five four three two one and back down remember trying to get those feet as high up the wall as strong and as long as you can make yourself Pushing tall, five, four, three, two, one. Last rep, breathe in between. Try not to hold your breath on these either, but just keep breathing as you go through. Lock in midsection, nice and tall, five, four, breathe, three, two, one. So that's that nice long technique of alignment in the locker. It's working hard, eh? Workout. Got some capacity strength to come yet. Okay, the last bit of this movement pattern and circuit and it's going to be the balance practice so you can kick yourself up just play around in this position guys like Jacko and I can both pull our feet off the wall and balance but if you're just starting out it really doesn't matter just work at a point where you feel comfortable and you're giving yourself the opportunity to feel that stability move to instability and then you can correct it until you find that there's no shame in using that wall for support your brain needs the opportunity to practice and learn that position is that about 10 seconds Dave? I don't know <laughs> we'll give that one a rest so there you go, that is set number two. We've got our capacity strength set to come. If you want to throw a little, little set of those exercises together, pause the video now, take yourself through one more set, and then join us for the capacity strength section right now. Final part of the session, part two, where we're looking at the capacity strength. It's really important we spend some time getting strong for these handstands and not just get do all the, uh, the fancy stuff up against the ball, practicing that balance, because it is fun, but we need to get strong as well. So we're going pike push-ups is our first one. We're going to go for 10 reps. So Tim has walked his feet up. He's got the bum nice and high. Remember that head is making a triangle with the hands. So there's one, and as he drives, he drives the whole chain up two, control on the way down, up three, four, five, focusing on trying to make that push as vertical as possible. Eight, he's off, right up on his tiptoes, nine and 10. Lovely. So always making sure we have the control. Then we're straight into that walkout and we're gonna try and hold as far out as you can for 10 seconds. So 
Core's tight, bum side. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Look at that shape. Three, two, one, and rest. Oh, coming down to the floor. So you can see how as when we start to be strong enough to get really nice and long, it's exactly the same overhead position as in your handstand, but you're using that core to really link those upper and lower extremities together. So a minute's rest, then it's maggot. So it's time for Jacko time ago, set number two, pipe push-ups. On these ones, guys, if you feel like the 10's too many for you to do, there's no problem about dropping those numbers down. You can go through whatever you can feel is achievable. As you start to get more confident with these, you build those numbers up. And also you can work through a shorter range of movement if you need to. So Jacko's going full range head to the floor. If you go down and find you can only go halfway, that's fine. Just work through the range of movement that you've got and you're still going to find that you really start to build some strength in this position. Is that about three, Jacko? Eight. All right, sorry. <laughs> I was talking. Okay, so keeping the bum nice and high, great technique, keeping the elbows in nice and tight to the body. Oh. Reps out the 10. Now for the walkouts. So again, you don't have to go all the way out. We, we kind of wanted to show you, to, we kind of pushing ourselves as well through the workout. So we've gone full range, but it might be that you literally move your hands three or four centimeters or four, five or six inches forwards just to get enough strain on that position where it feels like your back's gonna bend, but you lock it in super tight, front and back, to Ugh. hold for as long as you can. Aim for, aim for something you can do for 10 seconds. It's a meaningful amount of time, which is gonna to help to build up some strength. Once again, you can pause now, hit another set if you want to, or if you don't, if you've done enough and you feel like you've put some work in the tank, well, you can have a rest and a, and a sit down. <laughs> So that's the end of the workout, guys. You've got some skill-based work in the movement pattern. You've done some work to get strong. Hopefully, you probably find that your heart's up a little bit and you feel like you've done a decent amount of work. And all of that is going to build towards your handstand perfection. So you might have followed along just those two sets if you're just starting out, or maybe you've done that extra third or even possibly a fourth. But that's probably about where we want to sit. Two to four sets of those, looking to get some of the reps around eight to 10 to 12 reps when the, in the strength section and then just making sure that in the patterning stuff when you're working on the skill you're taking your time to make sure there's real quality in the movement in terms of your alignment. Calisthenics means beauty and strength. We want to move with control and elegance. So make sure when you're doing these you're always training with good technique. It's not about boshing out the reps in the shortest amount of time. Just take your time, move with grace, beauty, get strong. What else do you need? Well, at least we try. We, we, <laughs> yeah, we do our best.